Well, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Badger and Babe, glad you could join us this morning. Badger here with you. Um, Babe wanted to go over some stuff, as you know, as you saw by our Instagram account. Instagram account, sorry about that. Um, we are going to Bowling Green. Uh, we're going to be leaving here in a couple days, so wanted to look over the bike and uh, show you guys some stuff that uh, we like to carry with us that helps us get through the trip. Maybe not necessarily helps, but yeah, just in case you uh, break down, um, yeah, you have some things with you for safety, etc. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, as you can see here, there's a uh, few things that we like to carry with us uh, just for safety's sake. Um, this is a 2010 Electroglide Classic. That is the Red Menace. I don't know if uh, you guys have really actually seen the whole thing, but there she is. She's gotten, uh, she's gotten a few miles on her the last few years that we've owned her. Uh, had a trip to Texas. She did great. I mean, uh, there was absolutely no problems at all. Uh, had a good time on that trip. But uh, as you can see here, we got a bunch of different things. Rain suits. We also have our um, clear visors that we have. We do wear full face helmets. Of course, when you're a vlogger, that, uh, that really helps a lot. One gallon gas tank. That's the one that is, uh, it fits in our um, saddle bag. A couple quarts of oil. Got gear oil. Got motor oil. Transmission oil. Uh, it is, like I said, a 2010. So it does burn a little bit of oil. Not a whole lot. She doesn't leak. She doesn't mark her territory. But uh, she burns a little bit of oil. No biggie. Also there, got some blood slide to uh, clean her up whenever we get to where we're going. Couple rags, there's a clean rag, there's a dirty rag. You always need a dirty rag if you're checking your oil, etc. So, I always like to carry that with us. Now here's one thing, I found this little um, fire extinguisher. It's a nice little fire extinguisher. Does the job, always check it uh, before we go on any trip. Make sure the gauge is in the green and the uh, little pull thing there is is secured in place sunscreen it's one thing I think some people forget about sunscreen you're out there riding all day you're in the Sun hopefully you're in the Sun uh, but yeah that's one thing you want to do is make sure that you uh, have that protect yourself here's one thing I kinda like if we do break down this little flashy light, oh, that's bright, but it'll flash also. See if I can get it to flash. Yeah, there it is. So it just kind of brings attention, uh, lets everyone know that, hey, there's something going on. Just to be careful. Shut that off. This is also helpful here, some of these light sticks. Just for extra light, maybe mark uh, where you're at in case you broke down alongside the road. Just so people take caution. This is always nice for the uh, the kickstand there. We've used that quite a bit. You go to places, you never know exactly what the parking is going to be like. If you're on soft bottom, you always want to make sure that uh, the bike is stable. It's not going to fall over. Especially if you're loaded down. Um... Big touring bike like this, once we're fully loaded down, we're probably over a thousand pounds. So if this thing goes over and it's just me and babe, it will take quite a bit for us to pick it up. But you always want to make sure you have that. A uh, little first aid kit, nothing major, just some stuff we keep in there. Um, Cleaning wipes, uh, band-aids, that sort of thing. Maybe some ibuprofen for some headaches or pains or whatever. Um, fuses, always good to have fuses. Never know what's going to happen. Uh, and not even only for yourself, but you know, if you're with a group, somebody might blow a fuse for whatever reason. 
Now this thing here, now that's not a jumper, that's just to help somebody if they uh, have a dead battery or they're having a hard time. I always like to take my battery charger with me just in case. It's not, it's small, it doesn't take up a lot of room, so I always throw it in the bag. I'll get to that there in a second. Here's one thing that we found. This is fun. Because we do travel a lot, uh, we go all over the place. This little passport, it's for national parks. So you visit all the national parks wherever you're at. And let's see if I can find one. Yeah, there it is. And then you get stamps. And you just throw them in there. You stamp your book. You collect them. There's places to put stickers here for wherever you're at. It's kind of a neat thing to carry around. And that's probably the biggest uh, and most important thing that uh, a lot of people should be carrying. And it should be bike specific. Not every bike is going to be the same. A uh, nice little toolkit. So I got some uh, Loctite there, some electrical tape, a basic hand tool, some zip ties. Now, this is just in case something happens, you know, something works itself loose as they tend to do on motorcycles. You want to have it just so you can tighten some things down, make some minor repairs along the road if you need to, that kind of thing. I'm not going to change a tire. I'm not going to, you know, fix the engine, you know, alongside the road, but just to have it just in case you need it, someone you're riding with needs it, etc. It's always good to have. Now this bag, that's a burly bag. I picked that up a few years ago. It's uh, made of a heavy duty canvas. Really sturdy. I, I really like this thing. Uh, tools did not come with it. Uh, it's just one of the uh, uh, things that you find when you're working on your own bike. If you do work on your own bike, you can uh, grab a couple sets of uh, wrenches, pliers, whatever you have laying around, throw it in there. And then finally, just a little air pump. We just still have uh, in the rear air shock so like to keep that with us just in case we need to increase or decrease the uh, the pressure in the back that kind of th on the air shocks that's all alrighty that's it now, I did go over the bike yesterday I did clean it uh, when you do clean your bike I know a lot of people say oh Harley riders are always cleaning their bikes well, when you're cleaning it, that's one good time to look over it, put a wrench on things, make sure everything is uh, torqued down as it needs to be, torqued down to specifications that you have in your owner's manual. You don't have an owner's manual, look it up on the internet. YouTube's great for that, as you can tell. Um, went over everything, like I said, put a wrench on it, cleaned her up. Made sure nothing's leaking, made sure everything is tight, etc. But, uh, you know, hey, for being 11 years old, she still looks pretty good. 35,000 miles on her. We'll put uh, maybe four or 500 more on this, this weekend when we get on to Bowling Green. But uh, it's going to be a good time, I hope. What is it? What's chasing you out there? Huh? I think there was a fly messing around with Mr. Riker there. Hey, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification so you guys know when we upload videos, which I try to do every Friday at lunchtime. Uh, thanks, guys, and maybe we'll see you in Bowling Green, all right? See ya.